Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for watching. I have a special treat for you all today. Brian Stelter has agreed to come on this show and answer a few of my questions, and he joins us now. Thank you, Drotech, but I'm only here to refute your attempts to destroy democracy by spreading far right wing misinformation. Democracy dies in darkness, you know, huh? Yeah, I get it. We hear that line from you guys a lot. But after two years of authoritarian Putin style censorship, we now know that the Hunter Biden laptop story is in fact real. Despite the erroneous excuses given by 51 intelligence experts, so-called fact checkers, the Democrat party and all of their state media accomplices that it was all just Russian disinformation. In fact, you yourself helped to censor the story and just before the 2020 elections, claiming that it was Russian propaganda, putting the story in darkness and just before our most important act of democracy. Wait just a minute there, Mr. Goebbels. You're spreading misinformation on behalf of Vladimir Putin and his orange agent. That's an attack on democracy. That's an attack on journalism. Maybe you should get a job at Fox News. Misinformation? We literally have video of you calling it Russian propaganda. Biden secret emails. A really fishy story. The Post claimed that the emails were found on a laptop computer that was brought to a repair shop in Delaware in the spring of 2019. The FBI is now investigating whether those alleged Hunter Biden emails are actually connected to a larger foreign intelligence operation. They may be related to a foreign intelligence operation. Foreign intelligence operation. Foreign intelligence. Foreign intelligence. Foreign intelligence operation. For all we know, these emails are made up. The information found on the laptop may be part of a Russian disinformation campaign. Part of a Russian uh, disinformation uh, effort. Described by many intelligence experts as having hallmarks. All the hallmark, hallmarks, rather. All the hallmarks of a Russian. Or Russian, Russian disinformation. Russian disinformation. Disinformation campaign. This is a classic example of the right wing media machine. How could you possibly defend this? It's right there. It's undeniable. So. You clearly can't back up your assertion that I claim Hunter Biden's laptop emails were likely Russian propaganda. Thanks for confirming what you wrote is false. You can't be serious. Wait a minute, what am I saying? Of course he's serious. I see what you're doing here, Tater. You're so desperate that you're playing these infantile semantic word games. You called it Russian disinformation, which is a synonym for propaganda. So recently, Brian Stelter reached out to Breitbart, who had been calling him and other media hacks out for their obvious operation to save Joe Biden's chances in the 2020 election by censoring inconvenient facts. Stelter demanded that Breitbart prove what they were claiming about him and responded just like you saw there. Obviously, this big bone clown baby did baselessly call it Russian disinformation and is trying to save himself by claiming that everybody's lying because he didn't use the word propaganda, which is just completely f***ing insane. What's more insane and will probably give us all a collective embolism is the fact that none of the so-called major news outlets have said anything about this story or their part in covering it up since the New York Times very quietly let it slip that the Hunter laptop is real. According to a study done by the Media Research Center, the combined media total coverage amounted to two seconds. ABC News, nothing. CBS News, nothing. NBC News, nothing. CNN, nothing. MSNBC, two seconds. You want to see the two seconds of coverage, the story about all of our institutions lying in unison in order to manipulate an election gets from our so-called defenders of democracy? Crying about gas prices or, 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 or talking about Hunter Biden's laptop or whatever. These are the people who claim to be defenders of democracy, while at the same time, they are actively engaged in authoritarian measures to secure power for one party. You think they won't do it again? As long as they keep getting away with it, of course they will. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share and subscribe, then leave a comment for the algorithm. Thanks. I'll see you all next time.